we're going to graph two periods of y equals 2 times cosine of 2x. The first thing I'm going to do is find the period. So we'll take 2 pi and divide that by the absolute value of b. So we'll take the absolute value of positive 2, which just is simply equal to 2. So the period will equal simply equal to pi. I like to divide these into uh, four equal pieces and that's what I'm going to use as the increments on my graph, so I'm going to come back to that. I'll use those as the increments. The amplitude is just going to be the absolute value of 2, which is positive 2. So here's my graph. We've got x, we've got y. The amplitude, it goes from positive 2 to negative 2. And again, the increments I'm going to use will be pi over 4. So again, the, uh, the units on the x-axis and on the y-axis are not exactly the same. So positive 2 will be right there. Negative 2 looks like it's in the right place. So uh, let's see, we'll have pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, we'll have pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4 will be 3 pi over 2, we'll have 7 pi over 4, and then 8 pi over 4 will be 2 pi. So if we substitute in x equals 0, we'll get cosine of 0, which is 1. We'll multiply that by 2. That'll give us positive 2. And after that, again, that's why I like to use these increments. At the next increment, it'll be at 0. At the next increment, it'll be at negative 2. And then back at 0. And then back at positive 2. Then it'll be at 0. It'll be at negative 2. Then at 0. And then back at positive 2. So let me connect them with some uh, curvy curves. And that'll be a rough little sketch of y equals 2 times cosine of 2x.